In the Fincy photo, you can fill shapes with gradients to create all kinds of colourful designs. But unfortunately, the gradient can only be applied once within that shape. But what you can do is you can use inserted pixel layers to create combinations of super colourful gradients. So let's just go back right to the start. So click up here, set it to completely nothing, and now go to the layers panel. Make certain the ellipse is selected, and this could be any shape. You go to any of these shapes or designs that you create using the node tool, pen tool, etc. Well, with this selected, go to the top right and click here. Insert inside. So now you've in, done that. When you go to the ellipse, you can right click and you can go down here to new pixel layer. Normally, it would put it on top. So you'd actually have the pixel layer applied outside of that ellipse. But now because of the insert, it's going to be added inside. Now I'm going to add the gradient to that. But before I do that, you can go to swatches. Otherwise, it will always be black and white, which is fine. But I prefer just to set it to gradient. And now I can just resize it, change origin position, change the type. I'm using elliptical, but you could use linear, etc. And you can see your pixel layer over there. Got a nice little thumbnail there. Go to that pixel layer, not the ellipse, but the pixel layer itself. Right click and duplicate. So you're duplicating the pixel layer that's inserted inside. So duplicate, and you've got another one. Now if you apply the gradient, it will default back to black and white. Don't know why, but that's the way it works. But what you can do, instead you can select again in the swatches, just any of the swatches. And you can see that one there added. And I can just drag across there. It's a green, black, and white. But what I can then do is I can go up here. With that selected, I can go here and I can go difference. So now when I apply it, you can see combination very quickly. Super colorful design. Instead of your basic gradient, you've now got a far more complex gradient design. Right click again and duplicate. So I can duplicate that one. That's exactly the same at the moment. But again, go down here, select one of the swatches. And now, again, gradient tool, apply it like that, drag it across there. And I could create 15 or 20 layers using this combination, maybe different blend modes, light and etc. But I'm going to go with that design. What I can also do is I can apply effects to it. So with that selected, and that needs to be selected, so pixel layer selected there. Go to layer, new layer filter layer, and now you could use any of these, but I'm going to go with Distort and Twirl. It's probably the most dramatic. So go there, Angle, always defaults, of course, to nothing. And then you can reposition the origin point. And you can move it around, something like that. And close. I can do exactly the same with the other layer. So Pixel Layer, make certain you select that. Again, Layer, and down again to New Layer Filter Layer. And you could use some of the others, but I'm just going to go Twirl. Combine Twirls. And again, defaults back to zero. And you can see there, change that. Now, this is independent of the other one. So you can move it, different origin point, different radius settings, different angle settings, and you can see the result of that. And close. And I can do the same with the other one as well. Just go to layer, and maybe add instead, new layer filter layer, distort. I can go for ripple instead. So you've got a ripple effect. And close. What you can also do is you can also add filter effects. So you don't have to keep it like this. Now I find it's probably best, once you've got that, select that layer and rasterize it. Now sometimes it seems to work quite happily and you end up with what you want. But I always find that it's easier just to go to layer with that layer selected and go to rasterize. Now this is not rasterizing the whole thing, just rasterizing that selected pixel layer. So rasterize, and now, whether you can see it here, you can see the actual, what it looks like. You can go to filters and distort and go for mirror. And then number of mirrors. And you can change that. And you can see you get a lovely mirror effect there. And you can change the input. Hold down the alter option key. And then it moves all the way through instead of just doing constraining itself. So I'm just going to go with that and click apply. And you can see build up all kinds of complex designs. Use deform, any of the other filters can be used. So once you've done that, you've got this. You've got this wonderful, select here, the ellipse, 
you don't do that, you can't remove it. So if you just go to this one, move, try and move around, all you're doing is moving that pixel layer, moving that one. If you go to that one, you're moving that one, which is probably not what you want to do. What you want to select is that. And you can move it around. You can also resize it. Now you'll notice you resize, it's obviously some changes there as it moves in there. You can see everything crunching in. Hold down the shift, you can do that. And also what you can do, you can go up here, lock children. Just click that and then you can move this. But then you can see, of course, beyond the design. So you might want to, but you might want to use that just to reposition it, just say like there instead. You might think, oh, that doesn't look good. Let's just position it there instead. And then deselect that. And again, you can continue, you can resize it, move it around. And of course, once you're happy with it, you can always rasterize the entire thing. So you obviously might not want this design to be like that permanently. You can always, and of course, another option, if you want to use it future use, simply go to Window and Assets. With that selected, you can always go down here, Add from Selection. And you can see then you've got that design, which you can then use, obviously, in future projects. But once you've got that, you can go to Layer and again, Rasterize. So you turn the whole thing into a pixel layer. And then, of course, you can manipulate that further, maybe apply effects, click there, 3D, and so on. Just create all kinds of unique designs that way. Or maybe apply additional effects. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.